Wanna go get that for change? Because they absolutely love the bottle. I'm chugging it. This is King Tut. King Tut turned two years old this summer. Can you hear him purring? Most mornings he wakes me up, not the other way around. He is, he wakes up ready to go. <laughs> you gonna do some pull-ups? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing Angara's morning routine. He is already up and ready to go. He literally just wakes up in an instant and is like ready to climb and run and play and smile. He's the happiest boy in the whole wide world. That is one big happy boy. You ready? Wanna go get a diaper change? Wanna go get a diaper change? Oh yeah, let's do that. All right, after he's woken up and he's played on the bed a little bit, of course, first thing, diaper change. So, it really just depends on the night. Um, if it takes him a while to fall asleep, we could go through four diaper changes like from the time we try to go to sleep until the morning. Um, so he will wake me up in the middle of the night um, if he goes to the bathroom. If he doesn't go to the bathroom, he'll sleep entirely through the night. He'll do eight or ten hours just completely asleep. He's a little cuddle bug too. Yeah. Alright, he's all clean. And then of course, we gotta go get, make him a bottle. So he stays big and strong, huh? You need all the vitamins and nutrients and everything to grow up like a big, big boy. I think he's gonna be a really big boy. So on average, what I've seen is that the great apes gain about 10 pounds a year, at least for the couple of, first couple of years of their life. He is just over one year old and 17 pounds. He's gonna be the biggest boy. Are you gonna be the biggest boy? Yeah, I think so. It is so nice that he can go on the back and just hold on. He has a good time back there. He has his own little party time happening, but we're going to make him a nice fresh bottle. We use bottled water right now because he's a baby. Oh, spilling some. It really depends on him. Because he is actually eating pretty good, the formula might just stay this way. I do add yogurt to it every once in a while, and that yogurt is just um, good for his digestion. So if he does keep eating really well, then the bottle will stay the same. If he starts just like getting a little picky about food, then I'm going to start blending fruits and vegetables into the bottle with him. Because they absolutely love the bottle and they'll drink anything out of it. So now we just gotta shake it up good, make sure it's all mixed up in there, and then check for any little clumps in there. Because this doesn't actually blend up super well. But I can use my finger and the finger totally works. We just don't want it to get clogged, we don't want him to choke, and we don't want him to quit because it got clogged. We want him to drink his bottle up like a good boy. So the bottle's all ready. We're gonna take him back to the couch and see if he'll drink it, hopefully. He's being really good about the camera. We've had film crews come in and try to film, you know, the animals playing or just the animals doing their normal thing. And sometimes their routine changes entirely because they're nervous about the camera, but he's actually not nervous at all. Are you gonna drink that bottle? Mmm, it's delicious. So once he drinks his bottle, then I go um, get some warm lemon water that I make myself fresh, squeeze the lemon out, and then we just go on to the porch swing and he plays while I drink my lemon water. After we're done with that, then we go get Argos. The main reason why Angada is behaving perfectly well is because Landon's around all of the time and he has a ton of animal experience. He volunteers at other places and he's just He's just a really good guy. So Angada's actually hung out with him a bunch. He knows him, he's comfortable with him. He, he'll actually like leave me to go play with him. So this is like, this is like his little buddy. Look at him he's chugging that bottle. It's so good. I'm chugging it. <laughs> he's like, oh. Yeah, you good boy. <gasps> Look at that, he drank it all. You're gonna grow up and be big and strong. 
And smart, because this is good for your brain too, huh? You ready to go outside and play? All right, so after he's done with the bottle, I go make my lemon water, and we just sit on the porch. I just drink my lemon water while he's having fun. Um, it's a nice relaxing way to start the morning. And then after that, I gotta go take my cheetahs for a walk. I just make myself fresh lemon water, and he comes out here and just gets a whole bunch of exercise while he's playing on the porch swing, watching whatever's happening outside in the world. Like I said, it's just a really nice way to start the day. Um, <clears throat> today is a non-tour day, so if it was a tour day, then we would get up um, and then we would just start meeting guests and showing them um, our spectacular zoological facility. But right now, it's just a lazy Sunday. It's a beautiful day too. So now that Angada had his normal morning routine and had a good one, we, um, the next thing I do is actually take the cheetahs for a walk. Sometimes I take them together, sometimes I take them separate. It's all just new sights, sounds, and smells, right? That constant going out and doing new things. For cheetahs, we actually have only a specific couple spots that they really enjoy. And so we just like, this is one of them. We bring them out and they sit and they just kind of watch everything that's going around. There's tigers over there, there's a lion back there, there's leopards, people walk by. So it's all just him coming up here, being happy, healthy, and calm, and just enjoying life. Let's go get him. Can you hear him purring? So the purr is really important because that is him telling me that he's happy and that everything is cool. I forgot to mention there's actually a jaguar right behind me. So he's got a lot to deal with out here, but he knows he's safe. I brought him up here so many times and everything has gone perfectly well. So he's happy up here. This is King Tut. King Tut turned two years old this summer. He's a big boy. He weighs about 125 pounds. Maybe he'll gain another five pounds or something as he gets a little bit older. Um, but this, this is pretty much a good size for a big male cheetah. I do have a friend that said that he had a male cheetah that only got to 70 pounds. So this is a pretty big boy. So we're out here. Probably one of the first things you notice about him is that he's wearing this harness. You haven't seen a harness on any of our other animals. And that's because the tigers are beasts, right? Their necks are as big around as my waist. This is just to protect him. This is to keep him safe. If for some reason he takes off running, that way all the pressure goes here on his chest and a little bit goes here on his waist and he doesn't end up harming himself. This has worked out very, very well for us. And he's very comfortable with it. I literally have to go in here underneath his arm all of that stuff. He's used to just being touched and played with. You're a good boy, huh? Are you the best boy in the whole wide world? He says I might be. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. If you guys liked what you saw, of course, like it, comment, let me know. And if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Come on. We're gonna show you some amazing things. And remember, stay wild.